I'm, I'm pleased to be here this morning to officiate at the first real estate uh, conference for agents and salespersons organized by the real, estates, uh, real Estate Agents Licensing Board. The theme of today's conference, um, Realtors, Professionalism, and Ethics, is a timely reminder to all the industry players of the responsibility to the public and your potential clients and other fellow agents. Ladies and gentlemen, the real estate industry is part of the Fijian economy and the growth of the real estate uh, industry is closely linked to the performance of the economy. This is why I said those things in the beginning. And a strong economy leads to growth in the real industry. So this is also the first time in, in <coughs> Fijian history that the economy has grown positively for nine consecutive years. And that, ladies and gentlemen, in a nutshell, is a positive and a promising indication of our prospects of our country. And it simply means that the stable, the sound, and the pro-growth policies of the Fijian government have been bearing fruit, and we will continue to provide an environment that leads to increased employment, and better livelihood, and especially for our grassroots communities. The government, ladies and gentlemen, in the last uh, recent budget address has allocated $15 million towards the first homeowners grant and formed the first homeowners buyers grant. And first, for the first time, buyers with an annual income of under $50,000 will receive $15,000 towards the construction or $10,000 towards the purchase of their first homes. Now, those who earn between $50,000 a year and $100,000 a year also qualify for the grant assistance with $10,000 provided for the construction of a new home or $5,000 for the purchase of their first home. Under this scheme, the grant payments for the purchase of strata titles developed and approved by institutions like the Housing Authority will be considered at the same rate as the construction of a new home. Therefore. Your role, ladies and gentlemen, here is indeed important, as people will seek your advice for the purchase or the sale of their homes. And it is also your duty as agents to work within the ambit of the law and to ensure that your industry is clean of unscrupulous dealers. Ladies and gentlemen, with interest also, I note that the topics to be covered in your discussions will be thought-provoking and will also help everyone reflect on carrying out the respons responsibilities as we The players must be able to understand and to grasp what qualities and what ethical responsibilities they should acquire and hold in the performance of their business activities. The much-awaited code of ethics will address this and you must thoroughly understand what the code provides in the carrying out of your duties in a professional manner. Regulatory authorities like the Real B and the Fijian Com Com Consumer and Com uh, Competition Commission will work closely to target misleading and deceptive behavior in the property industry as a whole. <coughs> Recent concerns also highlight that some agents in the real estate industry are ignorant of their responsibilities under the laws, and particularly in the area of advertising. There has been misleading and false representation to clients and incorrect or misleading advertisements and statements, and it is not in the client's interest. Practice guidelines on advertising, conduct between salespersons, Agency agreement provisions will soon be drawn up for the industry as a form of guidance in these areas. And the laws relating to false and misleading advertising, false and misleading representations are still in place and any breach of such provisions will lead to legal proceedings taken against the offender. Ladies and gentlemen, continued professional development will become mandatory through the regulations 
and this is vital for the industry. Important topics today such as the code of ethics, the professional client care, understanding property transactions and the laws relating to real estate agency work are actually core issues that will be covered in the coming months. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> industry practitioners, you hold a critical role in providing truthful and correct information to potential vendors and the public at large. And through these advi advices, you, you assist them in finalizing big lifetime decisions regarding the sale or purchase of their homes. For some, these are once in a lifetime commitments and opportunities, and you play a very, very important role, and it is vital <coughs> in, in the decision-making process. As the minister responsible also for consumer protection, I'd like to see all the stakeholders in the real industry, real estate industry, working together, familiar with the rules and procedures pertaining to property transactions, ensuring that consumers' rights are actually protected. Now, if I could just also take this opportunity to inform you that government is currently undertaking a whole of government digitization process. And this also means the lands department, the titles office. So we are looking at it holistically so that actually at the end of the day, most transactions, all transactions that are being done can be made as simply as just sitting behind a desk and getting it done, as they do in New Zealand and Australia and elsewhere. We, 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 there are a lot of delays that people do complain about, and some of that is because we're still actually doing the hard yards rather than be able to do it. But we are in the process of a whole of government digitization with the help of Singapore Co uh, Corporation Enterprise also. So you will see um, better delivery of service from us once the digi digitization is complete. Now before I conclude, I'd also like to acknowledge the presence of the CEO uh, of the New Zealand Real Estate Agents Authority whose knowledge and expertise will help the board um, and you in today's discussions. But I might leave you a little, with a little thought, and please cover this in your deliberations whilst you can. There is one common complaint that comes up to the ministry and to the board, and I'd like to get some feedback uh, from the industry. And that is with respect to, and I specifically just pull out this point, amongst the other things that you're actually going to do, it's about exclusivity. When you sign up about exclusivity, you know, please make sure that you deliberate well on it. It is something that sometimes is of concern, uh, where you have an exclusive arrangement with somebody for 12 months and nothing gets done. It is something that is of concern to government, but we want your <coughs> feedback on it as to how we should deal with it. Whether, where, when we are changing the laws or the regulations, it is something that we want to hear from you about today. So when you do deliberate, please ensure that you really seriously think about how we can go forward on this. There are small agents get, that, that, uh, that get left out who work very hard at the end of the day, and uh, people get, you know, uh, sometimes you uh, end up in a situation where somebody who has a real estate agent's license but is actually not present in the country. We will also be strengthening the real estate agent's board in terms of monitoring. Now we want you all to succeed. As I said earlier, <coughs> look at you all, there's a tremendous amount of people here. So we are doing well, but at the same time, we must always look inwards to see how we can better ourselves. So with those few words, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all well today in your deliberations and a successful conference. Now, I thank you very much.